Uh, you know, it's a great honor, you know, and, and you know, I'm, a, I'm amongst some great players as well. But, you know, like I said, uh, it's just a con con contribution, you know, and every, I put it on my team. You know, it's a, it's a group, group, group accolade for all of us, you know, here at Penn State. You know, I'm very thankful to have it. What's it mean to you for the other the other people in the conference to recognize your achievements? Well, you know, like I said, you know, it's, like I said, it's a group thing. You know, as far as Penn State, you know, I think it's the first time we had it in a while, you know, besides Taylor, you know. And uh, like I said, you know, it's a group, group, group achievement, you know, I'm thankful for it. When you came into this season, averaged six points a game last year, you knew you needed to score a lot this year. How did your mindset change to enable you to be a leader like you are right now? I've just always been the player, you know, that always wanted to do whatever the team needed me for the, for me to win. You know, my first two my first two years, I had a different role. You know, I was to get others involved, and then you know, here and now this year, I had a different role. I, you know, I had to be a leader and a scorer. You know, it wasn't that tough. You know, I had great coaches and you know, great teammates. You know, that helped me along the way. Describe your relationship with Coach Chambers and, and what he's done in terms of helping you along in that process. Oh yeah, he's been great since day one. You know, he's, you know, he's telling me, you know, he brings me to office, have meetings all the time, and he's just helping me progress through the leadership role as well as the leader. Heading into the Big Ten tournament, clean slate. Everybody's zero and zero. What's your mindset? Like I said, zero and zero, man. We made a, a great run last year, and, and there's no reason why we can't make the same.